Good morning, everyone. My name is Dr. Kavita Shukla, and I'm the campus director for GBS Dubai. Uh, so today, um, uh, the topic of our presentation and webinar is how technology is changing the future of careers. There is a massive paradigm shift coming in uh, the way we are looking at the workplace. And there are many factors who have, uh, which have contributed to this. And how do we choose a career pathway in this VUCA world? So let us see that uh, uh, what are the changing uh, paradigms? Uh, what is the future look like? So uh, what are the major trends coming up uh, in the future? What are the tra trends that is shaping the future? What is VUCA? VUCA, uh, more and more this word is being used and it is uh, a disruptor. It, uh, it uh, signifies the disruptions that are happening uh, in our environments currently. And we will see that what are the VUCA drivers in the present world and what are the future technologies? I am sure that most of us are using uh, chat GPT, which has been the latest sensational artificial intelligence um, technology, which has come up in the last six, eight months. And uh, uh, it is silently creeping into every aspect of our life. Um, let's peek through the glass, glass door that uh, what does it look like the next five years, next 10 years, which are the drivers which are going to shape the workplace environment? What are the skills and competencies which are required uh, to adapt ourselves to make successful careers um, in this VUCA world? And how do we fit in? So there are a lot of things that uh, I have plenty of slides and uh, I collated a lot of information. So let us see that what are the major trends driving the future of workplace. One of the key drivers is the way we uh, adopt technology. Now, um, uh, we all have seen that uh, that as uh, uh, as young as a two year old today is successfully able to navigate an iPad to see the cartoons and you know uh, to entertain himself or herself a kid of say two to three years old so uh, you see maybe um, um, 20 years back uh, we were not that tech savvy yeah so uh, technology has been uh, the uh, the rate of adoption of technology has has become much faster and it is transforming the business in a way that uh, uh, that is becoming a paradigm shift now, one more thing we all experienced here in Dubai, uh, we experienced the le recent floods in one day. I don't know how many uh, cubic meter of water was um, uh, came down and as rains and we were all taken off guard. Yeah. So the way the climate is changing, uh, it is it is uh, now become imperative that uh, all companies, they have their ESG um, uh, strategies in place, the standards in place, and they have to uh, adopt and uh, environmental friendly um, uh, strategies. Uh, we are seeing BYD is a very successful, Tesla is very successful, so electric cars are coming in. So there is a lot of uh, uh, change which is going to happen because of the ESG strategies. And uh, one of, uh, two of the most important uh, macroeconomic uh, uh, trends are we are all experiencing, that is the rising cost of living and the slow economic growth. World over, countries are going through, uh, this is uh, uh, pa partly it has been uh, 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 impact of uh, COVID also, but, but slowly the countries are going through a, a very slow economic growth and uh, already we are seeing that the GDPs of major economies like China, US, UK is dropping down. So uh, econo macroeconomic trends, um, uh, slow economic growth and uh, green transition, um, as I said earlier, that the green transition, um, uh, significant investments are going to come up in the very near future. The organizations have already started the transitions. So uh, uh, massive investments are um, going to come in green transitions of almost every aspect of our life. And that is one of the most impactful uh, macro trend. Um, 
uh, and uh, we are all experiencing geopolitical divisions there are there are conflicts uh, going on in various parts of the world so these are some of the they they also have direct or indirect impact on the workplace uh one of the me me mega trends that we saw um, is the technology adoption technology adoption most of us are now on cloud computing cloud became the big buzzword 10 years back and uh, big data and artificial intelligence is helping us to crunch uh, massive amounts of data so uh, mm, the adoption of technology is increasing yeah and most of those um, i mean the numbers say that 75 percent of the companies are looking to adopt these uh, technologies in the next five years uh, massive digitalization is going to come in the commerce and trade um, digital platforms are uh, most likely to be adopted because uh, uh, it helps us to reach out to a large number of audience uh, uh, we can increase our consumer uh, base uh, uh, much uh, uh, much at a much faster speed and uh, scale it up to a level like we see that amazon almost every third person on this earth is using the services of amazon uh, e-commerce and digital trade again going up and uh, one very important uh, uh, recently i experienced um, uh, uh, vr technology virtual rea reality to uh, to um, uh, deliver a, um, uh, a lab experience to uh, school students so uh, there is a lot of uh, technology adoption will take place in education and um, uh, these uh, these uh, adoptions will be complete by another uh, two three years and uh, power storage uh, technology um, uh, adoption of ro robots uh, automation in most of the manufacturing will come in and uh, accounting and finance uh, more more or less will be taken over by by um, you know automation and the use of artificial intelligence now you see that uh, in um, uh, historically we have seen that the 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 um, the telephone was invented in 1876 but it took 100 years for the telephone to become a household item yeah but uh, uh, how uh, the cell phone became so it took uh, it took only 30 years for cell phone or say uh, 20 years for the cell phone to come in in every uh, ev almost every uh, every sixth hand or every uh, third hand in the world so we have seen that uh, the adoption of technology is becoming much faster uh, in today's world yeah uh, so uh, when the technology is being uh, adopted uh, so well, the, so the companies are changing faster. Yeah. So in 2001, uh, the five global companies were were um, uh, you know General Electric, more uh, Walmart, Exxon, City, but uh, only one of them was uh, Microsoft, uh, a tech company. But in 2016, just in about 15 years, all tech companies or the top five companies were all uh, tech companies so um, the adoption of artificial intelligence uh, in our um, uh, the way we do work is uh, going to reshape uh, so mckenzie says that 50 percent of the current work activities are technically automable and uh, they they can be uh, the human factor can be removed but um, as far as the uh, artificial intelligence and adoption of technology is happening but there is going to be uh, though the old type of jobs may go away go away but uh, the new types of jobs will come up and uh, um, they will be replaced by new generation of jobs so we will see that what are the skill sets which are required for these type of uh, um, uh, jobs yeah so uh, where we are seeing the maximum number of uh, job generation that is going to happen again climate change um, environmental management uh, most important um, uh, cyber security um, uh, that is an application and uh, uh, a lot of uh, technology will move into a very low technology area that is agriculture so a lot of uh, even uh, there are there is uh, adoption of drone technology for managing the coffee plantations in Kenya and so many other uh, examples are coming up where 
uh, in agriculture the um, the uh, adoption of technology is becoming higher and faster yeah so um, uh, two technologies very important uh, major job creators in the coming future humanoid and non humanoid robots uh, robots uh, so uh, currently there are some statistics that 34% of all business related tasks are performed by machines now very soon it will become uh, 42% or it may become higher so the task automation is coming up very fast and uh, uh, very quick and artificial intelligence is one of the key drivers of this uh, um, uh, this uh, churn that is going to happen and uh, so we see that uh, uh, what are the five trends that are shaping uh, the place work, uh, the workplace um, uh, most important is uh, the social media entering the enterprise yeah so social media is one of the uh, one of the uh, almost 300 uh, billion dollar um, industry and it is going to grow very fast it has the ability to reach out to um, uh, people where where uh, physically we cannot reach and uh, uh, very important in the coming uh, years is the collaborative technologies uh, we are seeing collaborative technologies uh, the phone is becoming fast becoming a confluence of different uh, through the apps and through the um, uh, through the um, you know use of technology it is fast becoming the uh, replacing most of the other uh, um, you know uh, devices that we are using yeah so uh, shift to the cloud we have already seen that cloud uh, computing is one of the biggest uh, uh, areas and uh, millennials millennials uh, the the people in the age group of 18 to 25 to 27 years will become the majority of the workforce and uh, mobility and connecting to work that means remote connecting we have seen pandemic has taught us a lot of things uh, that remote working is possible and uh, productivity can still be up so um, and we also see that economic factors uh, there is going there is a slower economic growth supply shortages are happening we are seeing that in in uh, red sea which has been one of the oldest known uh, known waterways and uh, so the pathways of eco uh, for, for commerce is now uh, almost 50 percent traffic has uh, gone down because of the geopolitical um, activities happening in that area so uh, supply shortages are going to happen and that is what is going to increase the uh, cost of inputs and uh, normally the cost of uh, living is uh, becoming higher so what is VUCA so VUCA is a word which is being used very very frequently in today's world and VUCA was in the 19, 19, uh, early 1990s. VUCA was a word which was uh, coined by the um, US military and uh, to combat the challenges that they were facing in various parts of the world where they were in the conflict zone. So uh, VUCA was uh, coined and today almost after uh, say 30 years it is becoming very very common to use it in the business environments and in general the global environment so VUCA is an acronym it is uh, by by itself the word doesn't mean anything it is an acronym which is uh, which stands for volatility uncertainty and uh, complexity it's becoming far in the world is becoming far more a complex uh, place we are slowly moving towards uh, uh, you know city states uh, without realms so um, and ambiguity ambiguity that is lack of clarity meanings of trends and events we may predict a, a certain trend but there is uh, always a, a level of the ambiguity is becoming higher and higher so um, VUCA, uh, quickly, uh, how things change in the business world, uh, the, the regulations might change, they may be, um, uh, they may be um, any kind of, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, something may, ch uh, may change the course of actions. So uh, frequent shifts, abrupt challenges, new challenges keep coming in and new requirements keep coming in so uh, and technological progression which we have seen that technology is overarching 
uh, overarching mega trend driver of the uh, current uh, uh, global world yeah so um, uncertainty uh, nobody knows that what will happen how things will pan and uh, instabilities are creeping in in many many uh, countries and that is creating a change of rules laws and uh, you know more in uh, uh, so the directions are changing in company uh, countries very frequently uh, complex uh, complexity uh, it includes things like uh, globalization globalization was a very complex uh, phenomena which took almost uh, uh, 20 years to mature which made um, china such a big uh, global economy almost 5 trillion dollars and uh, so globalization uh, you know fundamentally uh, it uh, created very complex supply chains which which uh, during covid also got threatened then now because after uh, 3 years of uh, 4 years of covid they are getting threatened again uh, by the geopolitical shifts so uh, a complexity the world is entire uh, becoming more and more complex place to work in to uh, find your niche in ambiguity um, something um, you know uh, different kinds of knowledge and uh, cultural norms and uh, changing social norms so ambiguity is uh, uh, so that uh, that makes it a very very vuca world yeah so how do we deal with a vuca world what is a uh, uh, i mean how people are obviously vuca has been there last uh, 5 7 years it has heightened its its presence um, so how do we deal with a vuca world um, having a shared purpose uh, yeah so in the uh, we have seen that uh, uh, teamwork is one of the top skills uh, in in management schools today also we teach um, teamwork uh, doing things in collaboration and uh, they have a shared purpose so uh, the uh, all campuses across the world uh, wherever management classes are running they all uh, fundamentally they they uh, encourage uh, collaborative work uh, uh collaborative work and uh, then in today's world learning agility we are all over uh, uh, we are over uh, um, exposed to knowledge and the way knowledge is changing almost the frequency of knowledge change has become much higher now and uh, uh, so uh, there has to be in the future whenever uh, for all uh, people who want to make uh, careers the um, the first thing that they have to learn is uh, learning agility and uh, they have to be lifelong learners yeah self awareness uh, more and more the uh, emotional intelligence component of of uh, uh, human behavior is becoming uh, very very important to succeed in today's vuca world uh, collaboration and influence confidence to lead uh, uncertainty uh, confidence to handle uncertainty is also one of the biggest abilities to deal with uh, uh, to uh, have uh, in a vuca world so what does uh, vuca world um, one of the key outcomes of a vuca world is innovation now when pandemic happened uh, because uh, uh, there was so much of research and development happening uh, in uh, university campuses in in europe and in uk uh, they were able to come out with a vaccine very very quickly yeah so uh, uh, that was because innovation is embedded and we are all working towards finding innovative solutions so um, uh, innovation, uh, VUCA makes innovation very imperative and research, uh, that is why focus, uh, VUCA, uh, pandemic has also refocused our energies towards uh, research and more and more research into the future. Um, and uh, that is why uh, a VUCA also um, uh, says that, uh, you know, there will be more, uh, uh, more and more jobs uh, will come up in the research field it is not no more uh, enough to have just a master's degree a phd will become the the new norm uh, in very very uh, near future yeah 
so uh, if we are peeping into the future uh, key, the key drivers obviously are uh, technology digitalization and sustainability as we have seen earlier and uh, there are some fastest growing roles which will be ai and machine learning specialists uh, sustainability specialists uh, uh, business intelligence and information security analyst and that is why cyber courses in cyber security um, uh, we run a program in uh, uh, digital technologies in cyber security which is our top selling program and students are uh, able to find work even um, after the um, higher national diploma they finish so uh, so um, uh, cyber security is becoming one of the uh, protecting your data um, uh, man there were so many cyber security breaches that happened very recently big companies were were held uh, uh, you know um, uh, they were held in compromising positions because the their data was breached so declining role uh, in the coming future, declining roles, secretarial jobs, clerical, most of it will be taken over by automation and, and uh, digitization uh, uh, services, uh, data entry clerks, no more required. We, today, when we go anywhere, we just scan our phone and we are able to uh, give our data to wherever uh, um, it's required. So um, now no more required for uh, data entry and, you know. So, uh, um, AI uh, is one of the um, base, basis of all this uh, technological change that is going to happen and uh, it is changing our world for better it is uh, it was already coming so it will create um, uh, almost um, 133 million more engaging uh, jobs and uh, while it make uh, half of them will go 75 million will go away and statistics says that 133 million more jobs will be uh, coming in because of artificial intelligence and uh, uh, artificial intelligence has uh, uh, not only um, in the way we do business but also uh, it is it is uh, uh, bringing cultures together it is bridging social and cultural divides yeah uh, language tools are there yeah so uh, artificial intelligence will also uh, transform the way governments work there are there's a country like india where 1.2 billion population there is country like there are countries like china again with billion plus population so large one of some of the uh, highest populated countries are uh, also some of the biggest countries in the world and um, a lot of uh, um, efficiency will come in bureaucracy and uh, people will be able to uh, governments will be able to manage their people much better uh, one of the biggest applications in uh, artificial intelligence which is very positive for the upcoming generations is the, um, the way healthcare is delivered and uh, artificial intelligence has the potential to make heart uh, healthcare far more accessible and affordable uh, so um, uh, healthcare is one of the areas where a lot of automation and uh, uh, advent of artificial intelligence will come then uh, in today's world we are seeing that uh, a lot of uh, artificial intelligence can create a digital world to a level it can conceptualize it can um, you know create the graphics for almost as fast as we can think any human ma uh, mind can think so so um, uh, creating art is artificial intelligence might come uh, a big way in this so uh, we have large scale job growth expectation coming uh, with the advent of technology and uh, major sectors will be education agriculture digital commerce and um, there is um, uh, for more uh, than 4 million digitally enabled roles will come in. Now, social media, as we spoke earlier also, that social media, uh, 270 billion US dollars in 2023 and in 2024 surpassing a $300 billion mark. So a major, a lot of jobs will come in the digital marketing area, social marketing area. Uh, climate crisis, one of the biggest uh, threats to mankind and to earth is the climate crisis that we are currently facing and um, the climate change is is uh, forcing uh, us to look at uh, green careers yeah 
green carriers uh, a lot of uh, um, there will be uh, a lot of metrics uh, involved in the scg and uh, e the environmental um, uh, section and uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, jobs will come up in the in the um, environmental sector so these are some of the jobs which will might come up uh, um, in the green careers you can you can pick up a green career now what are the career choices in the top five domains yeah the most important domains problem solving and critical thinking will become one of the biggest skill sets so um, we will see that a lot of uh, uh, there there are more than uh, seven to eight billion people the population of the world and uh, there is uh, a lot of data which will be crunched so a lot of data scientists because constantly looking in uh, looking at the hookah state of the the uh, world we will need a lot of foresights into the future and that will come when a lot of data is crunched so uh, data sciences will become is uh, going to become one of the biggest uh, areas of uh, work and uh, data scientists so people with uh, uh, research abilities people with uh, phds are uh, going to be much in demand uh, it is not that uh, phds will be only employed in the education sector but uh, big companies companies like linkedin like uh, netflix they are all employing data scientists to understand the consumer behaviors better to make the products that they are offering much better so um, uh, mostly uh, the biggest areas of work in the coming uh, coming years will be computer science engineering mathematics will become a very big ability mathematical and logical reasoning um, economics also because we are seeing that uh, to balance out to make the uh, daily work life better um, to look at the socio economic uh, uh, statuses across the world so uh, all those disciplines with strong data and computational focus will become uh, much in vogue uh, so typically uh, you have a lot of um, you know uh, artificial intelligence driven uh, jobs like machine learning engineer ai research scientist robotic scientist uh, business intelligence developer and so on and so forth one of the key skill sets of the future is emotional intelligence and um, empathy active listening leadership social influence these are some of the components of uh, emotional intelligence which is which are going to be uh, a huge uh, um, uh, requirement uh, uh, in the present world where uh, and so programs in psychology um, uh, people with psychology degrees uh, will be much in demand they will be career choices a lot of them with uh, degree um, uh, psychology degrees and uh, we have seen that how uh, social media spend is uh, increasing on a uh, um, you know on a year on year basis so there will be a lot of jobs uh, uh, in the digital and the social media uh, marketing so uh, uh, one major trend which uh, which is uh, slowly creeping in it had it has already uh, in um, uh, you know in, from 2020 it has uh, uh, already uh, shown itself up that is the gig economy now gig economy what is the gig economy gig economy is when when people are uh, choosing to do more uh, freelancing work so uh, freelancing uh, if you see that if you have a degree uh, in say animation so you don't need to go to any office you can do your work from home and submit it and you can get the um, remuneration for that so uh, mm, the demand for gig workers in the manufacturing and free field services also is uh, rising up so um, a lot of uh, support services and corporate staff will be gig uh, as per need as per need they will be hired and they will be compensated across, uh, accordingly so um, the uh, uh, 58 percent more than half of the gig economy is in the area of transportation so gig economy is something um, which is uh, going to reach 500 billion in gross revenue within five uh, five years in the coming very uh, uh, near future 
and uh, a third of the world's uh, workforce, uh, um, there is an increasing trend towards uh, creating a work-life balance uh, by working from home or having a flexible working hours. So uh, it's projected by 2027, 86 0.5 million people will be in the gig economy in US and um, that will make more than 50% of the total workforce. So gig economy is also an outcome of the, um, uh, the VUCA world that we are, we are so fast um, moving into. And uh, so therefore, uh, for the coming, uh, um, uh, for, to, for the coming uh, uh, generations or coming for five to 10 years, a uh, new type of skill sets are required, which are, which are uh, more adept to uh, dealing with the um, workplace uh, requirements of the coming future. So uh, new age skill sets, we can say, or someone who's a problem solver, so mathematics using um, uh, logical reasoning. Um, then uh, someone who is able to identify the black swan. Um, Re-engineer yourself, uh, being a, a lifelong learner. So uh, education, more and more of it. Um, uh, someone who is able to leverage network. So, uh, ability to form high quality relationships that are mutually rewarding. Um, communication skills, again, very big, uh, very big uh, skill set uh, required for the coming future. And uh, again, data, data is the new oil and uh, insights from data, data scientists. Uh, a lot of work in the which which becomes uh, which will become very satisfying is volunteering uh, volunteering work. So to keep uh, your emotional balance in this VUCA world, volunteering might become a choice. And um, uh, so uh, all these skill sets are, are hugely, uh, uh, you know, um, they are creeping into the course curriculums also uh, across the world in, in uh, the classrooms and uh, more and more focus is becoming that side. So uh, let us have a small um, look into the Dubai skill demand. And uh, what we see in uh, uh, Dubai, mostly ICT technical support uh, jobs are increasing. Uh, public sector vacancies, a lot of them in cybersecurity, uh, highest vacant positions now at 30%, uh, big, the big four also are, uh, are recruiting heavily into cybersecurity software and applications. And uh, then uh, um, ICT infrastructure um, uh, is, is also high in demand. We look at the private sector um, uh, vacancies, mostly software and applications, uh, ICT. Um, so, uh, more and more uh, people who are more uh, um, with the with the technical and the uh, computational skills are in uh, requirement. As you can see again, public sector vacancies more in cybersecurity, software applications, ICT government governance and planning, uh, infrastructure and operations, data and artificial intelligence. Uh, then we have digital marketing, which is coming at the bottom of the uh, graph, but uh, uh, mostly it is about software and application. Uh, cybersecurity is ranked as the highest vacant positions at 30%. Comparative of uh, private and public sector, more or less it looks the same, but, uh, but uh, in public sector work experience is um, more required. Uh, uh, private sector academic qualifications, uh, uh, more emphasis on that. Then uh, we have uh, time taken to recruit the skills. So uh, it is uh, the, the positions are filled in less than uh, six months. And uh, so 30% of the positions being filled in less than one month. So agility uh, and networking is very important. Uh, public sector, more or less uh, the same statistics, but uh, um, it uh, takes at least a little bit more time uh, to, for recruitment in the public sector. Then uh, future of uh, skills demand, uh, again, 
uh, one important statistic which is coming out is 70% of the opportunities will be for senior level and 30% for the entry level. So the all students graduating from any of the educational institutions in UAE will have a very good chance of getting a job here in UAE and start their careers. So um, public sector, again, um, uh, higher growth expectations in the future. Uh, those jobs which are uh, which are in software and applications, data and uh, artificial intelligence and cyber security. Again, the name comes up. Um, so growth of skills uh, again in um, okay. So um, again and again the same statistic is coming up that a steady growth of ict skills is required um, is uh, predicted for by by the employers for the future so uh, same for public sector also 10 to 16 percent where 60 percent very high uh, variance so the relation between the education so what are the chances if you graduate from any of the um, private sector or public sector universities the engagement between the educational institutions and the industry is becoming higher and higher and uh, they they have uh, good connections and here at uh, gbs dubai also we have a very 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 uh, proficient uh, industry placement cell which engages with the industry and a lot of connection networking opportunities are created so um, internship offers are very high and uh, uh, that is the topmost uh, activity um, uh, in the engagement public sector also internship offers then um, so uh, uh, with that i come to an end to, uh, of uh, my presentation but uh, these are the programs that we are currently running in gbs that is uh, digital technologies uh, uh, starting from level 3 it then we have cyber security higher national diploma artificial intelligence again higher national diploma two years uh, business uh, level 3 and uh, hnd two years uh, high national diploma then construction management uh, construction project management healthcare management and we are running a diploma in education training so these are some of the programs which are very futuristic which we are currently running in gbs dubai and um, i will be um, these are some of our part, uh, group companies uh, we have uh, schiller international university we have MLA College, Ecole de Management, we have GBS in Malta, uh, we have APEC in Australia,